Uh, we will start a new topic today and I would like to introduce to you a very common thing what uh, we are using in this uh, nature and that is an electric dipole. What is meant by an electric dipole? In physics we have a definition but in practice it is a very common thing. In physics our definitions say if there is a charge particle which has got positive charge positive charge and if there is another charge particle which has got negative charge and there will be a force of attraction between the two so they stick to each other. There is a distance between them this distance and this distance is a finite distance. When I use the word finite that means it is fixed and it will neither decrease nor it will increase. So, that is a finite distance. This the quantity of this positive and negative charge. The condition is these two have same magnitude. One should be positive and one should be negative. But magnitude should be same. If this is the condition, there are two equal and opposite charges fixed at a finite distance. Then this system, this will be known as a dipole. Di means two, pole means opposite nature particle. These are two opposite nature particle at the two corners. Therefore, this is known as a dipole. Okay. Where do we see these dipoles? So, answer is in our compounds, chemical compounds we have a positive charged particle and we have a negatively charged particle which are bound together like you know the acid HCl. HCl in that H is positive, H is positive and Cl is negative. So, HCl this is Cl this is H this is center of positive, this is center of negative and this is the fixed distance border to border. This is the radius of H, this is radius of Cl and this is the fixed distance between them. There is Coulomb force of attraction, they attract each other. This has got charge plus E, this has got charge minus E because it has lost it has lost one electron plus e, it has gained one electron minus e. So, there is a force between the two and they just stick to each other. So, this become a definite or a finite distance. So, equal and opposite charges at a finite distance makes a dipole. So, this is a dipole. NaCl is a dipole. H2SO4, SO4 minus H2 plus is a dipole. So, that is why the study of dipole is so important because all around us there are dipoles. So, we must learn what a dipole can do, what is effectiveness of dipole, whether dipole can create an electric field and if a dipole is kept in electric field made by other charges, how it will behave. So, now what I explained you, I will write it as a definition and you can make it a note of that. So, a dipole consists of two equal and opposite charges fixed at finite distance. That makes a dipole. So, this is the definition. And now we will see uh, how effective it is, how powerful it is, how do we measure that. That we will see in the next lecture.